Palmer again, uh, another little video in computer science. Make sure you go over your notes and serial files and sequential files before you watch this video. It would be useful if you did a quick recap on the binary and serial searches as well before you went on with this. All right, here I am waiting for you to go over your notes and merging data files. So, big questions for this little video. What is the algorithm for merging a serial data file? And then what assumptions do you need to make when you're merging two sequential files? Got those two things down pat and then you'll find this quite easy. All right, so first of all, if you want to merge two serial files, remember that the data file is not in any kind of order. It's just being appended to my file as it comes, as it comes along. All right, so it's quite a straightforward thing when merging serial files. First thing that needs to be done though, before I do any kind of merge, is actually just check whether the file is empty or not. Obviously if it's empty, then there's no merge that needs to take place. So in this case, I've got two empty files. It could be one empty file, whatever it is, merge, cancel, doesn't happen, okay? Now, in the case that I've checked my uh, data files and data actually exists in the files, then I can then proceed and continue with the merge. So I need to create a new merge file, and then as it's a serial file and there is no particular order for the data, I literally just start appending my data to the file. There's my first file appended, and then the second, same thing happens for the second file, and I have my new merged file. So the algorithm for merging serial files is basically if file one is not empty and file two is not empty, then you can go ahead and proceed with copying the data items. So I create my new file. While it's not end of file, I copy the items in file one. So I keep iterating from element to element in that data file. And then I repeat that same process for file two, appending it to the new data file and then job done. Okay. Merging a sequential file is slightly uh, more difficult, all right? Now, remember, in a sequential file, the data is in order of a key field. So I'm making a couple of assumptions here. First of all, I'm assuming that the data has the same key field, all right? Sorry, the files have the same key field in file one and file two. I'm also assuming that the same process has been carried out or the same um, method for ordering the data in both the key fields. So here we've got um, file one, file two, both of them ordered. My assumption here again is also that the key field is the first name. I'm gonna compare the first items in both data files. Abe works out to be smaller than Ali. Therefore, Abe is the item that gets copied over to my new merge file. I then update my pointer to look at the next item. Now here, I've got a bit of a problem. Ali equals Ali, all right? Uh, I need to have my third assumption here in place over here where I have decided what I'm going to do with duplicate data items. All right, here I'm assuming that I'm just going to discard one of the two. So I copy Dali over, then I update my pointers down, and I go and compare the next two items. Anne is smaller than Leah, therefore Anne gets copied over. I move my pointer along, and I copy Bob, Jill, Joe, blah, 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 down the list until I finish. Uh, I receive, uh, I get to end of file in both data files. All right. Now, just in case you missed those assumptions, number one, when you're merging sequential files, uh, you're, more, you're merging ordered data files, you're assuming that there's a common key field. Number two, the same order has been applied to both files. So they're both in ascending order or they're both in descending order. All right. Then number three, you need to have your rule in place for what you're doing with duplicates. Are you removing them, you're discarding them, or are you keeping them? All right. So the algorithm for mer the algorithm for merging sequential data files. Lol, I'm not giving it to you. You need to prepare that and bring it to class. I will see you in lesson with that written down. All right. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> I will catch you later on with my next video on. Um, insertion source. See you later.